Hey guys, it's Mr. Ross again. Um, recently you guys have been talking about genetics and Mendelian genetics in particular. Um, you guys learned about dominant and recessive alleles and you got to remember that dominant alleles cover up the effects of the recessive allele. So, um, And one other thing that you guys learned is you get half your genetic material from mom and half from dad. You get a copy of everything from dad and a copy of everything from mom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to learn about something called a Punnett square. And Punnett squares are useful for us to predict the offspring genotypes and phenotypes when you have two parent organisms creating offspring. So we're going to take a look at this little Punnett square. I'm going to show you how to do it. And at the end, you guys are going to do your own. You're going to bring it in and you're going to get credit for it. So make sure you do it. Okay. So let's take a look here. I'm going to punt it square. What you really need to do is you need to start out with this uh, this box. It almost looks like a, I don't even know, like a, an unfinished tic-tac-toe board. But um, you have four different boxes. And what you're going to do with those four boxes is you're going to put different genes and you're going to uh, use those genes later to predict outcomes for genotype and phenotype. So remember, the genotype is how the, uh, or what types of alleles it has, what genes. And the phenotype is what it actually looks like or behaves like. So um, we're going to take a pretty simple trait. Um, we're going to do, let's see, hair color. Okay. So we're going to pretend for a second that we have a mom and a dad that are heterozygous for hair color. And hair color we're going to say is, oh, I got to, I got to draw this. Hold on a second. Okay. We're going to say that B is our letter that we're going to use. Big B equals brown. Okay. This is so hard to write. I'm sorry, guys. And then little B is going to equal blonde. I wish I could write a little bit faster. You guys thought my writing on the board at school was bad. This is like... My kindergarten days. Oh, I gotta make my L a little bitter, bigger. Well, oh, not bitter. Okay, so let's pretend that we have two heterozygous parents. And remember, heterozygous means that it is a. Uh, it's got one copy of each allele. So on the top, you're gonna put dad, okay, and on the side, you're gonna put mom. Yeah, sorry, this is a new program for me. Okay, so this is mom. So mom, heterozygous means she has one of each. Ah, stop. So she's got a big B and she's got a little B. Dad also has a big B and a little B because this is a, a heterozygote again. Um, now here's the reason why I split these apart. Due to Mendel's law of segregation, um, the dad who has two copies of the allele himself, he's got a big B and a little B, He's only going to be able to give one of those two copies to the child, okay? So you can't have him give his two copies to the kid and mom doesn't give any. Otherwise, you'd have some pretty messed up kids with all sorts of weird things. Like you'd have eyes coming out of your ear and your your hand would be coming out of your forehead and nobody likes that. So um, now once we've gotten that... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take these alleles and I'm going to take this one and pull it straight down here and then this one is going to come right across here too. Now in general we always write the big letters first. So down here is another possibility. I've got a big B from dad up top up there Woo. and then this time mom gives this child a little B. Now remember, these are all just possibilities. This is not like this is what happens every single time. Like the first kid was big B, big B. Second kid is big B, little B. It's not like that. This is just probability. Okay, so going over here, we're going to have a big B from mom over here and a little B from dad right there. Okay, you see that? And then in this little box, little B, little B. Okay, so let's... uh. Let's stop right there for just a second, and then we're going to finish up. Now that we have actually um, filled in all of the different blanks here, and we understand what the probability is of having each genotype, okay, um, what we need to do is we, well, actually, 
And let me backtrack. We didn't figure out what the probability of having each genotype was, and that's what we're going to actually do first. So um, what you got to do is you got to look at each box. Now, if you look at this first box right here, it says big B, big B, okay? So I've got a big B, big B. That's one of my possibilities. If I look in this box and this box, I have big B, little b, okay? So that's another possible genotype I could have. And in this little bottom one, I've got little b, little b, okay? So there's only three possibilities of genotypes that I'm going to have. Big B, big B, big B, little b, and little b, little b, okay? Remember, this top one, this is homozygous dominant, or we could say that's purebred for, and then the big B is brown hair, so purebred brown. Um, this one, we could call this either heterozygous or hybrid, okay? And then this bottom one, <clears throat> excuse me, we could call this homozygous recessive or um, purebred for blonde hair, okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what's the probability percentage-wise, okay, that I'm going to have each of these, okay? So a lot of times if you ever become like a genetic counselor, parents might wonder, okay, what's the probability that my kid's going to have blonde hair? And they can find out, well, what's dad's alleles, what's mom's alleles, and we put them on the side and do this Punnett square. So here's the probability that it's going to have big B, big B, okay? There's only one of the four boxes. So one out of four, if we do the math, is 25%. And again, sorry for my bad drawings. Big B, little b, however, we have two boxes. So two out of four is 50%. So I've got a 50% chance of having a big B, little b, okay? So being heterozygous. And then this last one, little b, little b, I've only got one of the four boxes again. So again, that's 25%. Sorry for my drawings here, okay? Technology is hard to work with sometimes, especially if you're a dummy like me. So, all right, so the first thing that we use these Punnett squares for is we figure out probability to, uh, or probability of the different genotypes, okay? So I had to identify my three genotypes, okay? Big B, big B, big B, little b, and little b, little b, okay? I identified those three, and then I figured out from my four boxes, okay, how many times out of four do I have that? Okay, so one out of four for big B, big B, that's 25%. Two out of four times for little B, or big B, little B, and that's 50%. Two out of four is 50%. And then little B, little B, I only had a one out of four, so again, that's 25%. So there's probability for genotypes. Genotypes, again, is the genes that the baby might have. Now, let's do phenotype. Remember, phenotype is what it looks like. So what you got to look at is big B, big B, okay? I got big B, big B. And big B, big B was 25% of the time, okay? And then I had big B, little b, and that was only, or that was 50% of the time. And then I have little b, little b, okay? Now what we got to figure out is what's the probability, or sorry, what is the genotype associated with these? Sorry, phenotype. Man, I'm having a hard time speaking today, okay? So big B, big B. It's got two dominant alleles. So if we look up back up here at our key at the top, big B means brown. So this is going to be brown, okay? B R O. Just pretend that I wrote the whole word. I'm too lazy. Okay, now go to this next one. Big B little b has a um, sorry, a dominant and a recessive. But remember, dominant always covers up the recessive. So this is going to be a brown kid again. Okay? Brown hair. Brown hair. Do, do, do. Uh, I did it. Good job, me. Okay. And then this last time, the little b, little b, it doesn't have any dominance to cover up the recessive. So this one's actually going to turn out to be blonde. Now, if you look back up at the top, okay, at your Punnett square, what's the probability that it's going to be brown? Well, brown, we have this first box, second box, third box. So three out of the four times, it's going to be brown. Three out of four is 75%, okay? So 75%, the genotype, or sorry, the phenotype will be brown. And then we've got this one little box down here. The chances that this mom and dad will be able to make a blonde baby is only 25%. Again, it's only 25%, so blonde, I'm going to write 25% up here. Uh, now, I'm going to underline a couple things that are important here, okay? So once you've done the Punnett square, um, 
you need to know how to find the probability of the different genotypes. Okay, and again, genotypes is the genes that it has. And then you need to know what the probability is for the different phenotypes. So a lot of times what I like to do is I try to figure out what are my genotypes that are possible by looking at all this stuff here. And then I try and figure out what are my possible phenotypes. In this case, I only had brown and I had blonde for my phenotypes. But in the genotypes, I had big B, big B, big B, little B, little B, little B. Okay. So what you're going to do tonight is you're going to actually do your own. What you're going to do is you're going to pretend that you are crossing someone who is a dad. Sorry, we're going to make the dad heterozygous and the mom is going to be homozygous. Okay. And remember, dad is a, or a, sorry, dad is a hybrid. Okay. And mom, we're going to make her heterozygous or sorry, homozygous recessive. Okay. Um, so dad is heterozygous, that means he has one of each type of allele, and mom is homozygous recessive, which means she has two recessive alleles. And the alleles that I'm going to have you deal with are going to be number of fingers, okay? So number of fingers will make the big allele F, whoops, sorry again, we're going to make the big allele F, okay? And F means that you actually have six fingers, okay? This is a real life example, so... Um, it's actually dominant to have six fingers and not five. Now, little f, we're going to make having five fingers, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to remember, mom is homozygous recessive, dad is heterozygous, okay? You're going to figure out what genotypes could their kids possibly have, okay? I want you to figure out what's the probability, okay, so remember the percentages of the genotypes. And then I also want you to figure out the probability of the phenotypes. Remember, phenotype is what they look like. If you need to back this video up a couple times, remember what exactly you're supposed to do, okay? You're going to bring this in tomorrow, and you will get credit for it. Um, we're going to do a little trade and grade, so please make sure that you do that. And uh, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later, I guess. So have fun.